What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I'll be your Callie of the Vast, and I'm here with angels, dragons, and demons. Yes. <clears throat> so the stipulation today is by Travis, otherwise known as Unease Joker. Uh, it's a Callie of the Vast stipulation. He's like, I know she isn't in the cube, so build around her ability. Drafting priority should also include lands and ramp. And overall theme is Kalia, so angels, demons, and dragons. Nicobolus and Ugin count for dragons, as far as that's concerned. Um, the reason I didn't go live earlier, it's like 6, 6.30 now. The reason I didn't go live earlier was because my throat is feeling uh, pretty pretty rough. So, uh, that's where we're at right now. Oh, well, that's a thing. And that's a thing. Two things. Yep, all right. What's the pick here, man? I think library is actually better. I think it might be. <clears throat> Additionally, like, Time Walk puts us in a weird color for angels, demons, and dragons. Because there's none in those colors. No, there's literally no blue angels. There's probably no blue dragons, and there's also no blue demons, as far as I can there tell. There might be a blue demon. You think there's a blue demon? Like blue black? <clears throat> oh, sure, sure, sure. Anyway, we're going to take the library here because obviously it's very, very good. Someone's just going to get a time walk, so. Oh, Bolas is a blue dragon. That's true. But he's not really even a dragon creature type. This is kind of like a dragon. A little bit. I think we can take Palace Jailer. Palace Jailer is very good. Palace Jailer is a dude that steals your opponent's creature and then also is a Phyrexian Arena at the same time because it makes you the Monarch. <laughs> yeah, but if they attack you and get through, then he's not so good. But then you can attack them back and get through. Got him. Anyway, what do you think? You think anything here? A worm's kind of like a dragon. <laughs> I already said that one. God, I already did that meme. You did? Yeah. God, I'm behind the times. Dragons, demons, and angels. I don't see any of those things here. Nope. Carnage Tyrant's kind of like a dragon, right? Yeah. It's just, we just take worms and dinosaurs and they're all like, well, these are kind of like dragons. I don't know what to tell you. I like Solemn Simulacrum. He can Keeps ramp us. Open. Yeah, he ramps us into the dragons and the demons. Leovold's real good, though. You can't just always take Leovold. Uh, prove it. <laughs> He's neither a demon nor a dragon nor an angel. Send me an angel. Right now. When? Okay. Right now. Right now. All right. I'm going to take this bayou, because green is the color of ramp and black is the color of dragons and demons and angels. It's one of those three. Well, not angels. Anyway, this is a good this is a good land, though, and I'm comfortable with it. I don't think it's any of these other stupid cards. Actually, it could be Swords of Plashers. What do you think about that? Is it bayou or Swords of Plashers? Swords is pretty good. So it was bayou, though. Eh. Meh. Meh. I didn't like that, but I did it for you, because we're friends. There's an angel. And I value our friendship. Ooh, it's a good one, too. I actually like this one a lot. It's the old blue ring angel, right? Yeah, it's the blue ring angel. For two more mana. So for two more mana, you get a 3-4 flyer as well, which is a pretty good deal. I also like the mana confluence. Mana confluence is a land that I actually like a surprising amount. Uh, is this a demon or a dragon? No. Dang it. But there are none in the pack, I'm so oh, ramp. Up. Yeah, that's ramp. This isn't a is this an angel? Yeah. An angel with tentacles. Yeah, man, let's go with that. God, this is a good card though. Alright, I'll take a search. Um still no where my where are my demons and my dragons at? My demons and my draggies. Where's my demons and my draggies? <clears throat> Emrakul's are like a full-grown ancient angel, not a baby angel. Heroes Downfall, you think? Double black. It's a little rough. Kills Planeswalkers, man. It's we just gotta get that fixing, you know what I mean? Okay. It's basically every color but blue. Is Oh, that's perfect. Old Scrubberino. Yeah, that's great. That's Isn't the else really in the pack worth considering, even? That's the best land we could have asked for. Hopefully that Hissing Quagmire or a Shambling Vent come back. And, additionally, hopefully, uh, it's even possible for them to come back. I feel like one of them will come back if it's possible for them to come back. Eh, Devoted Druid. Eh. Sure. 
Yeah, that's fine. If angels are meant to have tentacles, I'm glad the Bible doesn't have pictures. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. I've seen enough anime to know where this is going. <coughs> nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. We did it. We did it. Did you see us do it? Nice. Nice. That's a nice. This is under the men's eyewear, and this is here. Get them. <laughs> Get them. Fascinating. I'm sorry, we gotta take a shambling vent over old hee haw mouth. Oh, a blooming marsh came back. That's nice. That's a nice. <clears throat> you ready to go? You ready to meet your maker, Michael? Oh. Like death? I don't think Eureka is where we wanna be. It's probably no. Night of Autumn, right? For Gearhawk? Yeah, this card's super versatile. It kills an kills artifact card champ. This, this isn't versatile. It's just a big creature. Oh, there it is. We got all the things. That's nice. All our dual lands are black. Tentacles are how babies are made. Think about it. Oh, the hero came back? Oh, I'll play that for sure. Maybe that's how your babies Four are made. <laughs> 14th big hero of Blade Hold? That's something right there. This is a dragon. It's a blue dragon. Ah! Don't we have to take it? That's frustrating. I don't know if we have to, but it's probably encouraged. <coughs> it says Elder Dragon right on it. It does. Well, I ain't contesting that it doesn't. Man, if only we had taken some blue card earlier. Grim Monolith is also very, very good. Hmm. Yeah, but Stip, bro. You're right. You we right. Splash it. I mean, it's possible. We gotta search for tomorrow. Way to hit that black low tie. It's woodland, whatever, good for us. Uh, we only have scrubland, so no. Okay. Also, a demonic tutor. Uh, it does say demon on it. That's true. And I, I mean, I'm not, I don't even have to make an excuse for a demonic tutor. It's very, very strong. So we're just going to take the demonic tutor. Is there an angel? Oh, you an angel? I want to take the card that has demonic on there. Oh, mind twist. I think it's just mind twist. Yeah, it's a good card. And there's also no angels, demons, or dragons in this pack, as far as I can see. Sometimes I get the, the blinders on. Hypnotic Spectre is not a dragon. It is a specter. Spoiler alert. Hmm. Um, Choops. Nissa. Abruptica. Anguish that I'm making has an angel on it, so <clears throat> I can definitely see making an excuse for that. And this is kind of like fixing. Well, no, not really, actually. It gets you only a basic four. Yeah. I wish it didn't. I wish it was just get a forest, because that'd be sick. And I also it don't basic think it, forest, right? Yeah, I don't think it would be too broken if you could. Could be Mother of Runes, too. I don't think it's a Mother of Runes deck, per se. I like Choops. <clears throat> Nissa does not equal ramp. No, no forests go into the battlefield. It is literally the equivalent of drawing a forest, which is not the same as ramp. I do like Lingering Souls a lot. Is Lingering Souls better than Nissa? Maybe? Yeah, I'll go with Lingering Souls. Oh, that's a good angel. Oh, that's a good angel, too. Which, Which is the angel better angel? Better? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. I mean, making all your creatures indestructible is a pretty good trick. It's true. We could also potentially get this back or a Lyra. I'll take the Archangel Avison. Oh, Stoneforge Mystic. With the sword in the pack, though. Yeah, we can get more. There's always more swords. Birds of Paradise also pretty good. So is Bitter Blossom. Like, this whole pack is good. I would take all of this. Birds of Paradise could be better than Stoneforge here. Mm, I don't know about that, dog. 
Bitter Blossom's cute and all, but we just got Lingering Souls. I think we're good on that on that front. You like Stoneforge? Yeah, I do. I think Bitter Blossom, Stoneforge, and Birds are all pretty good. Uh... Oh, God, I guess we just take it. God, Birds is so good, though. Oh, Temple Garden is a nice one. That's a good boy. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Plow Under is great, but we're not heavy green. I'd rather just have the Temple Garden. That's legit. There's also a liar in the pack, though. Yeah, I think that means we have to take it. I think it does, and that's really sad, because this is one of the choice ones. <sighs> oh, God, I don't know. Hold on. <clears throat> Why do they have to be in the same pack? Uh, <laughs> it's probably Hypnotic Spectre, right? I don't think it's Tassiger. I don't think it's Baleful Strix. I like this early guy. You want to yeah. play, play Prionidus? Is that a dragon? <clears throat> I think you're a dragon. No, it's a Hydra, right? You're a dragon me down. Got it. Why are you guys saying happy birthday? It's not my birthday. Mike is scaring me again. Yeah, that's just how he does. What did you say about dragon? The green is actually really kind of weird here. Like, we don't... These are not worth splashing by themselves. However, we have three fixing lands that are green so far. So it's kind of like... Eh. It's Time's birthday. Happy birthday, Time! Oh, Mirror Angel came back. I will take that angel. Send me that angel. Right now. When? Right now. Okay. Calm down. Anguish on making? Stop yelling at me. Or not the reliquary. Anguish on making. Okay. <coughs> oh, Abrupt Decay came back. That's a good one. Oh, the Bane Slayer came back? Mm -hmm. Get out of here, dude. That's surprising. I want to put this guy in the... That's surprising, though. All right. Wow. I'll play a better I want to put Ojutai in the sideboard. I don't think we have to play every single one. We did take it. But there's really no reason to mess up our mana base to that sizable of a degree where we add one I one one island just for that guy. Um I like Savannah. Tinker, hope for the best. Did you say Tinker? I mean Blight Still Claws, hope for the Tinker. <laughs> We're not playing blue, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the Savannah. I think the Vindicate might even come back. Maybe. Savannah. No, oh, Goblet Shrine. Keep them coming. I feel like we just take all of these. Angel of Invention will 100% come back. Yeah, but it's an angel. I guess lands fixing, are ramp, Yeah, so fixing and ramp are, are... When's the Hot Ones Challenge happening? What's going on, Brian? Brian, any update on the on the, on the UMA gate? or <laughs> what's, what's going on there, dude? <clears throat> Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to take the Goblet Shrine. Hey, look. It's a piece of power. No, it's not. Where? The Mirror Battle Sphere? Yeah. Huh. I didn't know they considered Mirror Battle Sphere power. I guess it's because yeah. it's a really strong artifact. Mm hmm. Interesting. It's just Path, right? I'll path your face. Okay, well, that's. I appreciate. While I appreciate that, I'm not sure it's helpful. I took the path. Ooh, Aurelia. Dang. D -d 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 -d. She's the leader of the war. Look at this. Find the first dragon. And he's red, no less? Come on. No, oh, this is frustrating. I guess we've seen dragons in literally... or We've seen creatures of the stipulation. <clears throat> um, So, here's a funny here's a funny thing, Brian. Actually, yesterday... um, Or two days ago, I tried some last dab on... Just like a, just like a bite of something. Because I had a friend who tried it, and they were totally fine with it. So I was like, let me try it again. Let me see if it's maybe lost some of its potency. And I ended up almost vomiting. Um, I was salivating. My stomach was killing me for, like, a couple hours. Like, probably two hours. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this because we have a higher chance of playing it. And uh, wasn't sure how I felt about the whole thing. I'll be honest with you. So I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna think it over a little more. I'm gonna see if I want to actually do. I don't want to like risk my health for it, and I don't want to like feel miserable for I'll like two hours. 
Mike could also just do it. He's definitely willing to do it. It might have just been a fluke because I'm usually really good with hot stuff. Like I don't actually have that kind of a reaction to hot things. But it kind of it kind of freaked me out a little bit because I was like, oh god, I think I'm gonna throw up. <clears throat> there is an Armageddon in this pack. It costs like the Boros Signet for our Aurelia. I don't think that's worth it. I think it's just it's just fatal push. You have so much removal already, though. I mean, this is also good because it's ramp. I mean, it is on color ramp for most of our white cards, and it does let us potentially play the Aurelia. Okay. Are we look? Were you looking at something else? No. I don't think it's Armageddon deck. We could take sort of War and Peace for. Our I would just sooner play. I would just sooner not play this than play sort of War and Peace for, as the only. These are both on color signets that let us cast Aurelia. Yeah, but Iona, that's an angel. Yeah, but this is fixing and ramp, so. It still counts. I still don't know if I'd play Aurelia. I don't know if I'd play Iona, so why are you telling me to take Iona when she costs nine mana? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to play Iona. I would sooner play Aurelia over Iona, especially with Search for Tomorrow. Man, why are you hating? Iona's... Okay. Because she's nine mana. Yeah, but it's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. Uh-huh. For nine mana. Okay. They can't even play their colors. Okay, I took They're basically the dead. Oh, Arid Mesa. Is that good for us? What does that get? Scrubland? <clears throat> it gets Scrubland, Temple Garden, Godless Shrine, and Savannah. We have all of the lands oh, to go really with it. But also, if we get like one of the Blood Crypts that, that went around, then we can also just play Blood Crypt, which is pretty insane. Yeah, that's really good. This is a demon. That's a nightmare demon, boys. Yep. Is this a demon? She might as well be a damn demon. A damn demon. She might oh, actually, be Moat would be demon. insane for this deck, dude. Alright, we're going to take the demon. Oh, Inspiring Vantage. Oh, the Vindicate came back, which is probably just getting snatched up immediately. Yep, that's what I thought. <clears throat> well, gotta take that guy. Title of Scholar, you're fine. I'll take you. Oh, we can also play this Lightning Helix now. <laughs> Alright, we're going to take this guy. Come on, really? Someone took the Blood Crypt? You guys ain't got no souls. Oh, wait. Spectral Possession is actually pretty good. Triple White? Is it good? Eh, whatever. Fine. Came back. There you go. Man, no Blood Crypt is rough, because now we have to run a stupid mountain. That makes me sad. Yeah, but we also have Search for Tomorrow, so running one mountain is probably more ideal anyway. <laughs> oh, there you go. That, that makes triple red. Oh, yeah, you're right. We can just play that then. Problem solved. Okay, so we definitely have to make some cuts here. God, I would say the green is almost isn't worth it, but we have like seven sources of green fixing. Uh, aside from the green fixing, why do we play green? Because we it's literally free to play green. When we have... I'll wait till the, I'll wait till the thing goes, because otherwise we're just moving my stuff. When we have one, two, three, four... Five, five green sources in the in, in our lands. It's literally just a free splash. Plus, we get cards like Abrupt Decay and uh, where's the other one? Night of Autumn, <clears throat> which is just super easy to to play. I'm gonna take out this Angel of Invention. We got Bane Slayer and Lyra. Good times. Stone Forge is terrible, unfortunately. Yep. So this is 25. Only two cuts here. <clears throat> Oh, passing moat feels terrible, but I feel like we did. I feel like we did good here, though. Like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? All of these are demons and dragons. All these, yeah, ten angels, demons, or dragons. Also, Solemn gets a mountain, so we probably just play one mountain. What do you think's yeah. fine? Still need two cuts, though. It's true. That is a true story. Probably Hypnotic Spectre. Now, hear me out. Okay. If we cut Aurelia, uh -huh. we can cut the two signets, and then we have a deck. No, wait, that's two. Or that's three cuts, not two. Also, dang. I don't want to cut the signets because they're good ramp for all the five drops. Okay. Like, this is also. This is a. This. We pretend it makes green and colorless, and pretend this makes white and colorless. Like, they're just good ramp cards. <clears throat> We can cut Devoted Druid. 
Yeah. It only taps for green. I like, I like Spectre. I think Spectre is a fine cut. I don't want to cut any of the five drops here. I think they're all good. Four drops, also very good. I don't want to cut Palace Jailer. Palace Jailer is great. I don't want to cut the... These guys. Yeah, I guess it's Spectre. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think we have enough flyers that do things. Meanwhile, we can play all of these lands. I would cut all green? I would not, because we have no reason to do that. Like, we have... Literally, it's, it's basically a free splash. We have five sources of green right here in our mana base built in. Plus, we have a Gruul Signet. So this is six sources. We're going to play at least one forest, which gets us seven sources of green by adding one forest to the I deck. I don't even know like if you to play one forest. Well, I'd like to because uh, we have Solemn Simulacrum. So if by some chance we don't have oh, sure. a green, then like there's just literally no incentive to not play the green. But sort my Colares. <coughs> I mean, Spectre could be a better card than Search, but Search is also a way to get our red our red source. So, I mean, also if we end up, like, we have enough sources of green where we can definitely play Search on turn one, and then it's just Ramp. Like, I don't really want to cut Ramp for a, 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 a hard-to-cast three drop. Okay, so, let's add... Yep, one, one, perfect. Uh, black sources, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good amount. White sources, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that's actually very good. All right, done. Our mana base is actually pretty perfect, and we also have a library just, just for funsies. And we still have Tidal of Skeletal Lightning, Lightning Helix, Anguished on Making for the sideboard. Seems good. I think you should cut the white cards. It's actually a, that's a solid strategy. My name is Michael. I live in the garbage can. Wow. What's up? Yep. <laughs> that disappointment is real. Uh, I will play first. Did you know I was going to do that? Play first? Yeah. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I'm sneaky, bro. <clears throat> Our opponent's name is Bodacious Buffalo. Like you do. Cut the MTG cards and play Yug Hio. What's Yug Hio? I don't know. What's a Yug Hio? Mm. Yug Hio. Is that like Are Ohio? From Yug Hio? <laughs> Yug Hio. Yeah, all right. Let's keep playing the lands, I guess. Look at, all, look at this beautiful mana base. Watch, we're going to draw Aurelia next. You ready for it? It's a beautiful. I'm sorry, what? Beautiful. I was laughing at Hunter. I know, he's on the bed. I hate when he's on the bed because I'm washing my sheets. Oh, this is actually great because next turn we can play Aurelia or Amelia, Amiria, and then play our land after that. So it's kind of nice to get the fourth mana down, so that on turn five we can, or turn four we can go her and then land. <clears throat> I'd cut this deck and rejoin draft personally. Wow, got a professional magic player over here that has deemed our deck unworthy of even playing. Yeah, I guess that's fascinating. That is unfortunate. Just don't play anything for the rest of the game. Then your library will be online. It's true. He's not wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Well, they got seven mana, so they can just play Avenger of Zendikar for four lands. Oh, a white mana has emerged. Don't even, oh god, people in the chat bringing up the the BTs. I don't want to. It's fine. I just have one. It's okay. Don't. It's not. It's not a big deal. If I were you, I would cut my hands off clean off to ensure I'd never play Magic. Also, also a solid strategy. Also a solid strategy.
Oh, I disagree completely about the fair and mid-range comment. I think people say that when they actually have no idea how the cube works. Um, yeah, we've done pretty well with fair I, decks. I, fair and mid-range decks make up the majority of this cube. Very few decks are doing unfair things. There are a few unfair cards, and you were going to experience unfair things. Uh, but by and large, our opponent's playing Gruul Signet into Coalition Relic into Council's Judgment to get rid of my 3-3. This is about par for the course. I think people who who uh, who complain about the unfair nature of cube aren't actually uh, drafting a ton of cube. <clears throat> also, this was a stipulation, so most decks are forced... fair mid rangey, and they end up being way more consistent. Yeah, totally agree with that. Like it's just it's a complete misconception, and it's kind of weird. Why do you make your land? Oh, because it's man land. Gotcha. It's a creature land, Michael. Six You're six. a creature land. I know. Got him. Did you get him? <coughs> Send in the bird. I wonder if we just vindicate. I don't really want to vindicate. We can use Solemn or Archangel. I think these are both just better plays. I think flashing an angel is probably the best play. Just attack with the bird. Mm. I've done at least 20 drafts since this cube has been up, and I have yet to draft four color white. Well, I mean, okay, so if you have yet to draft it, I don't understand how you can actually criticize its its success rate. It doesn't matter if you've yet to draft it. Like, people in the chat and myself are telling you that it, it, that's not their experience other people have had. There are experiences outside your personal sphere uh, let alone the fact, as many people have mentioned, this is a stipulation that was paid for. So we're going to do the stipulation and play a deck based on the stipulation that was paid for. Like, I don't understand where the confusion not is Not to here. mention, we've 3 0 with plenty of fair decks. Like, yeah. it's not... Attacking with 5-5s five is just, I mean, like, you have four turns to answer it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> like, we just have different experiences. Yeah, I guess Avacyn's fine. We don't actually need the mana, so. Oh, look at they're getting they're getting aggressive. They need that card. Given that fact, I retract my previous statement. All right. We good. We good. <laughs> Definitely makes a difference. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. That's a lot. Let's see what's going to happen here. Is this really a Marshall coup? Hop and take a ride in my Marshall coup? No. I'm no. not riding with you anywhere. Wow. That's unfortunate. I thought we were friends. I don't think Marshall coup is in this cube, but... It might be. Oh, wow. Hey, look at Iona. What colors are you going to name? It's probably going to be black, right? I would assume. And it's white. Wow, that is a Should have played your angel. I should have. I should have. I don't think we have an answer to that. Not if your name's white. No, we don't. That'll do. I don't think so. Hmm. Interesting. That's so awkward. I can't even I can't even click on these things. I kind of just want to run this guy and this guy into this. I really don't want them to get another card. Yeah, that's probably correct. Ugh, feels bad though. It feels Batman. All right, let's do it. Like we're trading a land for a Kiora, so. God, if I had a dismember here. Can you imagine? Yeah, we definitely have Heroes Downfall somewhere in the deck. 
So you're saying there's a chance. We're also at 22, which is nice because it's literally four, four turns, turns instead yeah. of three, yeah. And we got a bird, so it's basically five turns. Yeah, we'll definitely be drawing a Swords to Plowshares off the top. Make no mistake. Oh, here comes an Ulamog. That's a good one, too. Hmm. Mm, I don't think that's going <laughs> to cut it. Uh, that's a yikes for me, dog. Um, so we got a block here. Do we just play Solemn? Like, I don't really want to play a ton of cards, because I, I this is online in two turns. But I don't think we have two turns, so I'm going to... Let's go. Oh, I was like, why can't it? What's going on? Why isn't it coming down? Uh, we're just going to get a swamp here, just to make sure we have enough things. <clears throat> yeah, alright. Well... They just hard cast Sphinx of the Steel Wind and Iona. That's something right there. Yeah, I'm going to block here. Why do they both fly again? That seems weird. All right, they have no cards in hand. Mind twist. Oh, Lingering Soul. Oh, that's a white card. That is a white card. Hmm, that is something. Yep. That's a yikes for me, dog. All right, let's see if the top card is a hero's downfall. You ready? It was not. Uh, why not Vindicate the Sphinx? Because they have a card called Iona in play. And Vindicate is a white card. Maybe we should have just bought our own Amiria. I kind of like Spectre now. Boy. I'll take this this out for this. Let's see if this is just a better decision. <coughs> well, I'll be... What if it's a butter decision? A butter decision? Mm -hmm. What does that even mean? Your decision gets buttered up. Your decision gets buttered up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take a little in your hand. Keep. No, don't don't make the no nope, don't make the squish noise. Why not? Does this hand's make, actually great. We have to make you uncomfortable. You go turn one library. Turn two draw a card from library. Turn three knight destroy one of their duders. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure Hangerback's only better than Lingering Souls if they manage to hard cast an Iona. Otherwise, Hangerback is or Lingering Souls is definitely better. <clears throat> Did you say remind you of duty? No. Isn't that why you said? Didn't I say don't don't make the squish noise? Didn't you say why? Does it remind you of duty? No. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. What was your response to me saying that? I don't remember. So, so it could have been. Does it remind you of duty? Maybe. Can someone let me know if that's what he said? Also, I added a new I added a new thing to the soundboard, so we'll have to hope hope for a moment to. To get that going. More mic sounds. Sound mic stream. <laughs> Does it make you uncomfortable? Yeah, and then I said a little bit, and he said, "Doesn't didn't he say why? Does it remind you of duty? Isn't that what he said? <clears throat> oh, wow. A Gideon Draga. Wow, look at this. Look at this opening here. Did you look at it? Oh, God. I love Library of Alexandria. What a busted card. <laughs> Whose idea was it to play this? Make this. To play and make it. Oh, we're going to be at a... We're going to be at a point where we can just mind twist their whole hand. Yep. That's a yup from me, dog. Hang in there, Frank. The angels will save you. At least I hope that somebody saves you. Is that a is that a meme? I don't know what's going on. One, two. One, two, three, four. I don't think they're going to do anything super strong next turn. So we're just going to play Temple Garden. 
we're going to pass, <clears throat> and then we're going to draw a card on their turn. And then we can either mind twist them or, you know. Like, we have tons of answers. Like, we have Palace Jailer, Path to Exile, we have Mind Twist. If it's an artifact or an enchantment, we have Knight of Autumn. If it's a creature, we have these. We could technically get one of those Rampy pieces if we wanted to. What's a Rampy piece? Your mom. You mean steal them? That's probably one of the few things. No, I mean, Knight of Autumn, one of them. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of your hand here. Oh, you mean hit the hit the rampy pieces with the knight? Mm -hmm. I got you. Don't forget to draw a card. I'll never forget to do that. We are now at nine cards. <clears throat> so one, two, three. <laughs> Go down to seven. Still got to keep a card. Nahiri and a Plains. Eh, not exciting. Oh, let's see if this is it. No, don't don't make this no, don't make the squish noise. Why not? This hand's actually great. We have to make you uncomfortable. Go turn one library. Turn That's it? Dang, I could have sworn. Where did I hear that? Oh man. The library is no longer going to deal damage. I'm sorry, oh buddy. God. The damage is already done. What's up, Aeons? Good seeing you. Um, let's draw a card here, like you do. Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> let's go to nine. Ooh, that's a doomy boy. Two, three, four, five, six. I feel like we just oh, play just slam that angel. Yeah, but then they make it. They do a thing. I guess it's fine, right? Well, we just pass and flash in our other angel then. That's what I like. I like that better. But we do have to discard something, unfortunately. I mean, I'll just play Bane Slayer. They have one card. In no, hand. no, no, no. What? Because they just plus Kiora. It makes our play terrible. Yeah, but I don't care if they plus Kiora. Kiora. If they're plusing Kiora, we have more time to deal with it. The problem is, <clears throat> if we wait, we're discarding a card. Then we play Archangel Avacyn. I don't want to, We have no reason to discard a card here, right? And we're never playing Aurelia. Never. Probably never. So we go to seven cards. Then we got we drop down to six cards after we play this. Yeah. yeah let me draw a card. Yeah. Right. All right. Fine. Goodbye, Aurelia. I had high hopes for you. Might be any interest in growing a handlebar mustache. Uh, my mustache grows very slowly, so it would probably take me like five years to do that. Five years? I, was, I think. Why don't you just grow it out anyway and stop bitching about it? <laughs> Man, they're just like, I'm going to keep getting your thing. And I'm like, no, you're not. You'll never get my thing. You know what I'm saying? No. You understand? Please explain it to me. I think they're dead. <laughs> this library is unreal, right? Like, we've drawn at least five extra cards this game. Probably four. But maybe five. But maybe... Hey, why don't you grow a handlebar beard? It doesn't make any sense. It does if you really think about it. No. You need to think about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to think about Jesus. <laughs> I think about Jesus every day. Oh, yeah? Yes. What does he tell you? He tells me that you need to shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Sounds like an incubus. <clears throat> an incubus? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? A male demon. Is that an incubus? Mm -hmm. Like the band? So the band was a male demon? A male demon? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not. Yeah, but it gets worse. A male demon believed to have sexual intercourse with sleeping women? It's the, obvious, it's the opposite of a succubus. That's right. That's, that, that's what I knew. I knew that. 
Mm. Man. Time's up, Incubus. Hashtag time's up. I tried to get Kenny to do this, but he wouldn't. He wanted too much money. Will you eat a standard-sized jar of spicy brown mustard on stream with a spoon for $100? The whole jar? I don't know, man. Well, standard size of spicy mustard is, like, kind of small, though, right? I don't think I even need to scry here, I'm going to be honest. Or surveil, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> but you could have. But in the future. Yes, whole jar. Hmm. Yikes. Yeah, but so, like, there were, we, there was, like, how big? Like, because some jars are like this. Some are like, some are like this. One, two, three. Kenji wanted 500. Oh my god. Kenji's clearly, uh, he's not, he's not connected to the, to the, to the everyday people anymore. <laughs> he's no longer down to earth. Wow. So what's your price? $425. Oh wow. What a man of the people. I'm a man of the people guys. I know, I know how to, I know I'd how do to do it for a hundred. You would do it for a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. A whole jar of spicy mustard. Yep. Well, dang. How many ounces are we talking here? All right, so. I guess we can surveil here to try to hit something nice. Let's get something nice for ourselves here. Oh, put it in the graveyard? Beautiful. <clears throat> Man, there's nothing better than putting a lingering souls in the graveyard with surveil. <clears throat> I'll do it for free. You buying the mustard? <laughs> I mean, our hand is pretty much insane. We don't need anything here. I'll just put on my LA Beast hat and just do it. LA Beast? FL Beast here? You could be the Florida Beast. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, well, we just want all of these in the graveyard. None of these are doing anything for us. We only have 16 cards left in our deck, so I'm kind of like... Yeah, he's at 5, and we have 3 creatures. I think we're fine. I guess I'm just going to let it happen, then. If they pick this, it just flips. Like, doesn't she flip? Oh, it's exiled, so no, I guess not. But then, mm -hmm. like, aren't they still dead? Are they, like, hands up? Yep, alright, cool. So, they literally just picked it, and then they're like, alright, scoop now. <clears throat> Does the B and Mike B stand for Beast? Oh, wow. Mike Beast. Mike Beast here. I kind of like Anguish on Making because they have a lot of... Actually, they have a lot of things. We have two of these and we have Vindicate and we have Abrupt Decay for their their artifactos. I don't mind Tide Hollow Skuller, actually. And we have Angel of Sanctions. Like, our deck seems very well positioned against them. I'm going to take out the Aurelia. But then if I take out the Aurelia, I have to take out all the red stuff, too. And there's no point to doing that. I'll rather just take, like, Emiria out, I guess. I think she's the least impactful. Is that offensive to Aurelia? To Emiria? I don't know. Maybe. She's a little slow. Well, that's even more offensive. <clears throat> Library of Alexandria in opening hand. Calling it now. I done messed up. You called wrong, boy. I did. Still keep her. Just like you, buddy. Just like this new shirt looks good, man. Thanks. Mike got some new clothes for Christmas. Oh, that's gonna come on down. Oh, we have also our, our hand is like perfect, except for we just need a second white, which is probably gonna be pretty easy. We have like ten white sources. Yeah, if Mike's gonna eat a bag of sugar-free gummy bears, it's not gonna be in this room. That's for sure. It's also not gonna be for a hundred dollars. Oh, look what we did. Look what we did. I really want to just kill this, but I'm going to pass and let you have your four mana. Did you say it's not going to be for 400? I said not going to be for 100. Okay. I was like, man. 
I'd do for four. Yeah, Mike would need a, a bad gummy bears for four, I bet, for sure. <clears throat> remember the time I was like this in opening hand, and then we just drew it off the top? I do remember that. What are you exiling here? Now we have a good target. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five mana. Hmm. This is all very fascinating. That's a good one. That is a good one. Yikes. All we had to do was get rid of this. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's actual gasoline. Unfortunately, we can't play this now, so... Oh, and you're just gonna... Oh, wow. Oh, he man. ticked it? Yeah, if we didn't actually... We, we wouldn't have gotten this if we didn't actually draw a card there. So everything had to work out so ex incredibly well there. It puts us in a real awkward position, though, because, like... Why? Because if we play Savannah here, this is not going to come into play untapped. Which means next turn, we can't really do anything. Yeah, but you really want to give him another turn with an activity? Nope, I'm just saying, it's awkward. I want them to try to Caracas their own Jace. That'd be disgusting if you could do that. <laughs> if it's like target return target legendary permanent to its own hand, that'd be insane. <clears throat> so I'm definitely activating this. No, they didn't do anything. Um, <coughs> just stop it. You're being ridiculous right now. I would definitely draw a card before you draw a card. Oh, that was a perfect... Wow, that was a good draw. So we can play Hypnotic Spectre and draw a card, or we can Abrupt Decay one of these two. It's probably Hypnotic Spectre, right? Yeah, they only have two cards left. I want to get them, get them out. Let's play this. Get them out. Draw a card. Let's do that instead. Oh, sure. Wow, we're good at this game. Deuces. Iona and a Swamp. All right, well, here we are again with a literal perfect hand. All right, so draw a card. Play a card. Yeah, we'll just play uh, Beastie Boy. Draw. All right, I would have slammed Bane Slayer there. Really? I'm just yeah. gonna play this guy instead. I don't want to. I don't want to give up our advantage, bro. <clears throat> you can take one turn off drawing a card, man. Yeah, I don't know about all that, man. That's a yikes for Have me. Have you ever drawn a card before? Have you? Sometimes I wonder, Michael. God, now we just get to eat this last card, which probably Sphinx of the Steel Wind. There's a forest. <laughs> Boring. How did you... If you drew land, land, why didn't you play them both? I do not understand the things that have taken place in this game. Are we going to win with our fair deck? See, I mean, this is this is what I mean. Like, there's easily there's very easy ways to disrupt unfair strategies, but sometimes you just play a five five Bane Slayer Angel, and they have to deal with that because that is oh no, definitely not adding mana with that. Let's not go crazy. Do we have anything higher than five? No, five is our, our curve, right? That's the top of our curve. So we can play Blooming Marsh and then draw a card and then play Lingering Souls and keep up Abrupt Decay. Library of Alexander is not a fair card, but we're not doing, we don't have an unfair strategy per se. Um, if we flash back Lingering Souls... Yeah, it's lethal, right? Right, yeah. Let's do that. God, you're so smart. What college did you go to? Smart school? God. Yeah, smartschool.city.usa. <laughs> Trick. Trick? Yeah. What was that part? That was just part of the song. Oh, I didn't know that was a song. I just thought you were doing, a, doing it a little bit. Little bits. Little bits. 
You know, I'm glad I had that pot pie before this. Why? <coughs> or else it'd be brutal. Because you didn't eat? Yeah. Well, now you ate. Well, they got a progenitus here? No. Yeah, that's fine. Buddy, I got bad news for you, my friend. I'll send that trick to jail. <laughs> should we sanction it or send it to jail? Which which of the two creatures in our hand should we use to get rid oh, of a lesson? Sanction is better because it lives. If you jail her, it'll die. And oh, that's true. The jailer dies immediately. That would not work out, actually. Don't do that. Well, we still could. It would be bad. If you put a corn dog on a bun, is it a hot dog? <laughs> that makes me want to die. You know what? Maybe it is. Yeah, we have they call that the old corn dog dog. If they didn't tap out with the Caracas, they could have actually just bounced their Alesh Norn forever, which is actually pretty good. What if you have what if you cut a hot dog in half and you stuff a piece of bread inside of it? Is that a hot dog? Is that a is that a sandwich? What if you cut a hot dog in half and you put and put a bun inside of it? Is that a sandwich? No. Huh. It could be though, right? No. Just no. Yeah, it is. God, I feel so bad when your opponent's in this situation and they're drawing these great cards. One after the other, but they're just not going to do it. Do you really? <clears throat> I just know how it feels. So I'm empathizing. Go to jail, Sphinx. Goodbye. Goodbye. I actually eat vegetarian hot dogs. I do not eat actual hot dogs. So, Do you want to change anything? I think our mana base is actually fantastic. No, I think everything's fine. Like, we had Library of Alexandria, and our mana base was still pretty unbelievable, so. So if we put a corn dog on a hot dog bun, then batter that in cornmeal and deep fry it, that's that. What if we... What do you, Wait, hold on. Okay, so what if you put a corn dog... Okay. ...on a hot dog bun... Right. ...then batter it right. in cornmeal and deep fry it? Uh, Good Mythic Morning actually did that. Get the hell out of here. So it's basically like a corn dog dog? Mm-hmm. Double corn? Double corn. Oh my god. <coughs> Sometimes you gotta get that double corn. Let's talk about that. Oh, this is a keeper, right? Turn two bitter blossoms, always good. Also, I think these are two of our three lands that come into play tapped at different points. So, being. Oh. <laughs> well, that's awkward. That is unfortunate. I had a, I had a good time, not turned into a bad time. Good time <laughs> turned into bad time. Bird, 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 bird. No, just no. Oh, I see. Well then. Well, I thought it's using a pack rat. It's like what? we're playing... This is <laughs> Welcome back standard. to Thero Standard Block all over again. <laughs> I think we're going to get crushed by this guy, just so we're clear. I would like to change my Anguished Unmaking into... Oh. You're just giving me a chance here. Oh, wow, and you get a Palace Jailer too. That's pretty good. I would like to change... Wow, that's actually insane. Come because on, if we play... on, removal. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, swords that thing immediately. You can swords and it's all. Yeah, that seems pretty good actually. That actually seemed great. All right, I wanted to wait to play the solemn until we got a Miri Angel out because then it's an extra hit. But we don't have three whites, so that seems greedy. I probably just made another rat, but you know, it was super greedy. He basically could have won the game, but he decided not to. I, I, I declined to win the game.
Black, black, green, green, white. Well, I'm probably going to go white. One, two, three, four, five, six. So ideally, we just draw Mind Twist. They don't play anything, and then we just get to Mind Twist their hand. That would be good. Let's see if that can happen. <clears throat> What'd they hit now? Lyra? Jeez, unbelievable. Can I get a Vindicate? Abrupt Decay gone. And here is, wow, they hit two of our... Two of our three, like, three answers for an Ashiok. That is pretty sad. That's not the worst card I've ever seen. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. It's a counter spell. Think of your turn until the turn is plus one turn. If it's red, gains vigilance if it's white. It doesn't gain either of these, does it? Nope. That's sad. I thought it... Oh, it's still good. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, I always misread this. Until the end of turn, that creature gets plus two, plus oh. Comma, gains trample if it's red, gains vigilance if it's white. Yeah, I always read it wrong, and I always think the plus two is also associated with the red part. It is not. I thought they would have encountered that for sure. If you fill a hot dog casing with corn, is that a corn dog? Uh, you know, in a way it is, I think. And I, I wish his questions would just stop. They're terrible. I wish you would stop. Never going to happen. Never going to give you up. Never going to let you down. Yep, Chupacabra is a good card. I was, uh... That's unfortunate. Shooky poopy. That's a good one. Yeah, it makes a angel token. Solid to top I mean, dick. bird token. Do you just Doom Whisperer here? Probably. I'm gonna attack first. Yeah, see what happens. Hey, Ashy Larry. Can I, can I get can you? Can we come and knock on your door? Oh, this is a, this is a block arena. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, we're doing that. One, two, three, four. One, two. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> we can hit them for two, and also play an Amiria. Is that just better to let them keep one random card? No nah, man, take the whole thing. But then we'd have no pressure for Ashiok, who goes up to eight next turn. I'd rather just get the. We'll leave them with one random card. Animate dead and unburial rights. Well, they don't have a white actually, so that's actually just fine. Here we go. Nor do they have any creatures in the graveyard, so... They have a Chupacabra. Oh. Which literally would kill this, which is my which was my fear. <clears throat> wow. Angel of Sanctions and an Avacyn. All right, you're doing well. If a question is asked in the woods and there is no one to hear it, is it still a question? I don't... I don't know, buddy. Three, four, five, six. We can't kill you yet. Yeah, we can put it to one. It's pretty good. I'd rather just play Doom Whisper, though, right? But I don't know. They can't do anything for three. Like, a liar, uh, an Ashiok on three is not really much different than an Ashiok on one. Plus, we get the, the surveils, which is nice. I don't know if I want to be surveilling, though, when we go to, like, nine cards in our deck, but... We also can't activate this. We don't have a second. We have a green and a black, but we don't have a green black. What's all these birthday things? No one, it's no one's birthday today. Neither of us have birthdays today. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Go on a party like it's Mike B's birthday. Guys, can we get a happy haircut birthday for Mike in the chat? Please, no. It's Mike's birthday. It's not. He's 16 years old today, guys. Also not true. <laughs> he just learned to drive early. You should have seen him driving around. He had the biggest smile on his face. He's going to be driving all over the city soon. Thank you. Wow. Murbler, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Wow. Happy birthday, Mike. Jesus. 
Happy birthday, Mike Jesus. All right, so they don't have any super easy. Uh, well, this is a good. This is a good card to have either keep in your hand or to have drawn. So, did they overpay for it? Then <laughs> I'll pay five for my gifts ungiven. Congratulations on your driving, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish it were true. If only I could go back. Did you? Uh, is it a sweet? Has it been a sweet sixteen so far? Yeah, man. Okay, what do we got here? Um, so, put two cards into your graveyard. I want this to go to your hand. And put both their reanimates in his graveyard. But then they get show and tell, and then they can just show and tell Gristlebrand, which seems pretty bad for us. Right, there's no way out of this, by the way. I don't think that's true. Like, if we give them living death... Mm -hmm. They get back Ravenous Chupacabra, and we get back Aurelia and Solemn Simulacrum. So then they're just going to kill... Um, also, we can just give them Narcomancy, and then we just kill it with the Night of Autumn. So you can have Narcomancy Gristlebrand. And, like, get rid of Living Death and... Show and Tell. Show and Tell, okay. yeah. Because, like, you can't cast this, so it's blank. Narcomancy lets you get back Chupacabra, which kills one of these two. Which is fine. Oh, we can also we have live. Oh, we can actually just give them living death and just surveil until we get like a busted board. Oh, let's do that. So show and tell can go in the graveyard, and narcomancy can go in the graveyard. Oh, that's gas, dude. Oh, I like that. There are only two lands from Gristlebrand, sure, but like, I mean, that's still two lands that they have to just draw. And by then, we can actually like. Um, yeah, sure, fine. Yeah, Path Temple, sure. Oh, I see what you're doing. That's a nice, nice top deck. <clears throat> Seems good. Here, Popcorn Indiana's Black and White Drizzle Corn. No, I don't even know what that is. Oh, they're doing, they're doing this for sure. I'm going to actually put all the cards that are not creatures on top because I don't want to die. Oh, well now I have to put both in the graveyard. Put in the graveyard. Put in the graveyard. I hope we have enough angels left. Not too concerned with my life total here, though. Yep, I'm just going two more. We have four cards left, so I think we're actually we either win this game or we lose this game, pretty pretty handily here. All right, so do we even have creatures left? One, two, three, four, five. I think we're just gonna have to put one of these in there and put one of these on top. I think it's fine. I wish I had a way to kill my own guys on the on the field. So this does this kill everything? Uh, you're probably gonna go five here, kill here, and then we have Aurelia okay, and Saul. Protection from demons and dragons. Oh my god, that's pretty good. I don't think I'm even going to search here just because we want the... Oh, they're going to Baneslayer this, though. And Yeah, they just switch it then. Five here, five here, maybe. I think we're dead then. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I mean, if, if like they didn't just hit all four of these, I think it would be a lot stronger. So two of the three cards in our deck are... No, one, we put one planes in the graveyard, so... Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. pretty rough oh boy 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 yep that's actually game all right <clears throat> we tried wow vindicate second to last card huh okay how many creatures do we have 11 creatures Dang. i want to bring the anguish on making in i want to bring uh tide hull of skull in as well i think Take out. I'll probably take out search for tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, 
Gonna party like it's my birthday. Yeah, 41's fine. I'll deal with it. 17 lands and 2 signets. We can go 41. That ain't a big deal. I will play first. Oh, uh, yeah. Sneep, sneep this bad boy. And then we're going to top deck library like you do. Top deck signet would also be good. Signet library. Similar but different. <coughs> Gonna party like it's your birthday, Michael. And goodbye. Where are you going to drive first with your new license? Your mom's house. You're going to go to my mom's house first? <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty cool. What are you guys going to do? Oh, you know. I don't. Can you, what, are, what are you guys going to... Sexual intercourse? <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, isn't that something? Oh boy, what are you making me? You're gonna make me discard? Sure. You got it. We're doing well here. Give me a palace jailer so I have an answer for this dragon lord, a, a shmarka. Ishmarka? I mean, I just have a feeling they're just gonna dragon lord, they're just gonna necromancy dragon lord a target here. Oh, yeah, that's fine too, I guess. Sure. I'll just build up my hand. <clears throat> That's obnoxious. At least I don't have to draw those lands. Gonna party like it's your birthday Cause it's Michael's birthday Mike B has a sexual intercourse license too? <laughs> yeah, they grow up so fast mm -hmm. My god Oh, good uh, much, in, much more Good. Wow, that was three good hits. Hero, Solemn, and Demonic Tutor. I would have not mind drawing any of those. Let's just kill the trash yonk. Finally. Finally done. Serious talk to Frank and Mike. How are your respective New Year's? Did you guys get a thing? No, I just I don't do anything on New Year's. I could care less about it. I was at work. They provided lots of food, beverages, and tasty treats. It's not a, doesn't that count as food? It was, it was dessert. Huh. Also, I got holiday pay. Hmm. Well, then that's something. Yep, that's pretty good. Especially when you have a uh, unbarrel rights to get it back again. They don't have a white yet, though. They don't have a white. You're right. Huh. Ain't that something? And if they living death, <clears throat> they would be active players, so their triggers go on the stack first, and then ours go on the stack. So we would be able to get 
uh, Archangel Avacyn's invincibility for both this and Ravenous Chupacabra, which is pretty sweet. Do you call Holiday Pay Hopa? Yeah. Hopa! <laughs> Good lord. Michael, I'm so proud of you that your birthday was on New Year's Day. You might ask why am I why are you proud of me about that? It didn't I didn't really do anything. And I'd be like, I was distracted looking at the chat. <coughs> okay, well. We got a we got a clip in the chat. I don't wanna I don't wanna deal with it right now. Yep. Um So we can go one, two, three, activate, attack for two, and then play Night of Autumn. I think that's probably more realistic than hoping for hissing hoping for uh Hoping for us to be able to Night of Autumn at some point. Does that make sense? Make 4-4. Four, four. Yep, nice. Alright, we're doing alright. <clears throat> we got lots of live draws here, boys. That ain't one of them, but we still have an Aurelia in the deck, so... Or, uh, yeah, Aurelia's right. So it's nice that we'll just get a mountain. This is worse when they living death, but... Oh, here we go. Gifts ungiven, like you do. That's okay, we were doing good, and then they had to top deck one of the very few cards that gives them all the things that they need. So, seems good. You alright? You scratching your arms? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, man, you're a cool dude. Thanks, dude. You're welcome, dude. Oh. I will cut you. Will you? Nah. We're good friends. Thanks, buddy. But off camera, I will cut you. <laughs> I will end you, buddy. I fell down the stairs, I swear. Stop running into the doorknob. Okay, here we go again. <clears throat> so. It's the exact same thing. One, two, three, four, six, oh. except they have enough mana to cast Gristlebrand now. Which is pretty terrifying. There's no place I can put Gristlebrand where he's safe. Yikes. I might as well give him Gristle Brand and show and tell then. And then just cast it. Yep. Doesn't that seem terrible? It's going to enter the battlefield no matter what you do. Right, but at least with Living Death we get a bunch of creatures out. Yeah, but so does he. Right, but we get more. I'm pretty sure his are better. We get Amiria and Archangel Avacyn, and Avacyn gives our guys protection. So then they get what? Ravenous Chupacabra, Dragon Lord Tarka, Sphinx, and Gristlebrand? Yeah, that's pretty bad. We can give him Gristle Brand a living death. That way it forces him to make a decision on it. Yeah, but then even then, then we have to kill it twice. If we give them show and tell and living death, then they're going to get back Gristle Brand, Sphinx, Dragon Lord, and Chupacabra, which is pretty bad. I think we just give them Necromancy and show and tell. This way they get... Like, Necromancy gives them one creature. Yeah, that makes sense. So, Bid the Living Death and Gristle Brand? Well, no, I think that's the best. But why, would you, why wouldn't we just give them Gristle Brand and Show and Tell? Like, if they're going to get Gristle Brand, if this is the best thing they can get back, Necromancy is just better because it lets them get anything back. So, like... Yeah. This gives them one creature that they can get back anyway. So, I think we just give them Gristle Brand Show and Tell. So, been living death necromancy? Yeah. Oh, I did not realize they did it on their main phase. If I knew that, I would have actually given them different things. Yikes. Probably crack that fetch. Oh, yeah, 100%. <clears throat> So 
They have no cards in hand, but they're going to have a lot of cards in hand. Yep. Well, if that was a Baneslayer, I'd be much more pleased because... Protection from Demon. Why would you draw at the end of our turn? That doesn't even do anything. That's so weird, because like, you can do it anytime you want. Why would you do it at the end of our turn? That's such a weird thing people do that like it has no strategic value. They just it just seems like the right thing to do. Well, seems good. Yep. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Agreed. Yeah, alright. That'll do. Cool. I actually thought they did the gifts on given EOT. If I had I known that, I would have given them Gristlebrand and Living Death, uh, which might have made a difference. No, that would have been great. Wish we could have drawn that a tur literal turn sooner, but. Yeah, attacking with Quag doesn't do anything. It just lets them gain seven. They get to draw an extra seven, and then they. Trade. I mean, I would trade Gristlebrand for Quag when I have when I've drawn fourteen cards. Because you can pretty much do anything at that point. So. I will join the match. <clears throat> yeah, this hand seems fine. It's a little slow, but we got all the colors. We got a bunch of, a bunch of cool lands. Coolins, the coolins, if you will. We're gonna top deck a library, so that's pretty good. That would be pretty good. Oh, this is Dar Squanchy. Hmm. Let's go with this guy. Why didn't you play a two again today again? I was half listening, uh, because I was sick. Beautiful one. Beautiful one. Oh, they just got some forests out? Alright. Two two forests with no ramp whatsoever? That's fascinating. That's crazy. You okay? Are you okay? No. Why not? Because I hate you. You're not okay because you hate me? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. No. This one, right? Yeah, let's do that. What? Come on, let's go. You 19 already? He's basically dead. I don't know why he's still even playing. Am I logged into Discord? I cannot tell. I just... Oh, crying out loud. That's obnoxious.
How do I do this? Discord's complicated sometimes. There we go. You did it. Good job. That was it's good times. Oh, he's got a little groogy. Wow, and this is, this is a crazy Discord server. There's a lot of people. <clears throat> All right. Let's let's do the do the, do the deed. I feel like it's just, is it solemn here? It's gotta be solemn, right? I mean, we can go Boros Signet and make two dudes, but I'd rather just get the solemn down. But the two dudes does help us kill Garuk next turn, so. Or a solemn might not. Mike, you're such a delightful gentleman. Congratulations on your big day. Why? Why is this a thing? Why is your birthday a thing? You listening to out there? Some. I got nothing. Okay, well, we had a good run. We'll go signet and. Souls. Who are you talking to? Your mom? I was talking to no one. You were talking to your mom, weren't you? No. I would have told you if I was talking to my mom. Did she message you and say, Michael, you need to come home because I miss you? No. That is the thing she would say, though. Michael, I can't bear to be alone anymore. Oh, the old turn five Findhorn Elves and turn five Golgari Signet. Not ideal, my friend. Oh, wow. Turn five, all three of these. Where did this birthday meme come from? I'm so confused. You were born, and we celebrated your birthday. No, that's not... No, that didn't happen today, okay? No, not today. Like, years ago it happened. You were born. What's your... Do you... You don't know how birthdays work? That's pretty weird, dude. Oh, they didn't crack the Verdant Catacomb to make it a 4-4. That's fascinating. 300 buy marker birthday drink for me bits appreciate it buddy oh, all right now you just now you're just making things come out of the air <coughs> this is the rhythm of the mic i'll have everyone know my Whoa. birthday is april 1st okay it's even weirder. He's just see like and then he tries to make a joke about it like oh my birthday's april 1st april fools everybody Come on, dude. Just let people be happy it's your birthday, man. It's not a big deal. It's not my birthday, and I hate you all. Happy birthday, Michael. Michael, happy birthday. It's your biggest day, Michael. Happy day. Well, all he got me was disappointment. Well, your mom said the same thing, so you'll just have to live with it like her. Yes, I have two birthdays. That's the solution. Well, you know what they say about birthdays, Michael. They're like They're like assholes. Everyone has one. So I'm going to get rid of the beast. I got the beast in my sights. Yes. Get rid of Garrick. Gary. One, two. We'll send two of Garrick just to make sure the deed is done. He has one mana up. Well, he has actually one, two, three mana up, so. He only has three mana up. Well, that's still, if they have an abrupt decay and they kill the beast, it's not really... Or the, the the spirit. It's just I'm, it's one damage is not a big. I'm also tempted to just swords the plasher with this guy. Why? Because it keeps them off of like any kind of crater hoof shenanigans. But alternatively, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. <coughs> this card also just gets better with age, like fine wine. So deal with that. There you go. There you go. 
Because now they have one card in hand. Like, Crater Hoof, they have two attackers. One we can just block and then get this back next turn. Honestly, stream, Mike, what's your astrological sign and do you believe in space Jesus? <laughs> is space Jesus like regular Jesus? Space Jesus but is the only, the only Jesus I believe in. I do not believe in regular Jesus. Well, who does, you know? My astrological sign is Aries. His astrological sign is the Sphinx. Nine mana, huh? What's happening right now? Is this Genesis Wave for six? It looks like a Genesis Wave for six. It's a desperate wave. Alright, let's see what's getting getting revealed. Come on, Darth Dar Squanchy. Hey, I'm squanching in here. Hey, I'm squanching in here. All right, here it is. It was that? Tristani, Elder, and three lands. That was pretty, pretty terrible. <laughs> oh, so you have a go laugh on, track go. now. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't great. I mean, it is what you can do, right? It's it's what it is. It is, it is what it is, right? Pay costs. Oh, you drew this. Wait, how did you? Did you? What? Oh, I guess they just had two cards in hand. I don't know. Whatever, man. Let's work here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll play this, and we'll play Doomy. Wait, why did this not make a... Oh, because it's like, it's not even tapped. You can tell it does a weird thing where it's like, Did you mean to tap me? You got too many floaty boys. We do? Mm-hmm. They can't handle it. Oh, they'll handle it all right. Probably not blocking with any of these guys. I'll just attack with all of them and hope they don't just draw... Just top dick a crater hoof. You ready? Top dick a crater hoof. That would be pretty unfortunate. I would cry. <clears throat> you ready? And then we would die. Oh yeah, for sure. They always have it, and they always draw it, so. This is where they're like, oh no, they're going to combat. It is combat time. Like, you're not attacking with any of these. You're just attacking with that guy, and those guys? Alright, I'm blocking this guy, because you're probably just going to sack it anyway, so. Looks like we made it. Hope you didn't draw a dismember. Here, crack. Oh, you're just gonna let this guy die? And deal a damn why would you why wouldn't you crack it to draw the card? Hmm. I don't know what to hit there. I don't actually know what to do about that. That's kind of confusing. Okay, land. Huh. Why didn't you? Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'll just keep that. Six hundred nine total on twelve thirteen. be swamping abs <clears throat> always be swamping three four five i'm probably just gonna vindicate this six seven eight nine ten they go to ten and then we're still on a two-turn clock yeah that's fine like they just have one draw i guess I mean, I think we're probably still dead to top deck crater hoof, right? But when's he gonna use? The, I literally just did. I literally just used the new sound. Here we go. Oh, 
It was it was laugh track. All right, we did it. All right. Huh. Well, is it possible that that we just cast Iona? I don't think so, but maybe. No. The other deck casted it. Casted it. Cast it. Oh, biscuits. Do we want? Any, do we want anything here? I like anything I'm making or something. Really? Mm-hmm. Kills anything. I'd rather have hippie. Well then, dippy. I'd rather a hippie. Well then, dippy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll just put it in there. Go to forty-one. What's all on your soundboard? Lots of things. I got. <clears throat> I got the e dupes. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. And then I got this guy. And then I got this guy. Wow. wow. And then I got Filthy Frank. And then I got Thick. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. And I got this one. He's already dead. You done messed up, Aaron. Lucky, 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 lucky. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> Today, Junior? <sighs> I'm about to bust. <laughs> And those are all 14. So now you guys <laughs> now you guys know the scope. And they change out pretty regularly, so. Oh, I'm about to bust. Oh, I'm about to bust now. Do you see? Do you see why, Michael? Yeah. Do you open with Frick scene right now? Yeah. Do you have a soundboard? I have a literal stream decker, which has all the apps on it. A stream decker. I hate you. I love my stream decker. Why are you like this? I got it from Home and Decker. No, that's why would they name the whole store after one product that they sell? Because they're not good. Then why would I buy the product? I meant the, the store's not good, but the product is. But why would I go? If the, isn't the store also good then? Stop asking me questions, man. God. I'm just trying to figure out life man sometimes you just gotta accept what happens what happens <laughs> <laughs> did that one get you you have to accept it what happens no, accept really. what happens what happens I don't understand what are we discarding here just planes no that seems bad that seems terrible slalom yeah we got so many four drops already Oof. All right, so we're going to go up to eight cards. We're going to play Blue and Marsh, and then we're going to downfall the, the Garrick. Yeah, this is fine. Draw a card. <sighs> Michael, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scramby eggs. Scramby eggs. Mike, what happens? What happens, Mike? You know, you go with the thing, and then you zip up the... Spittle battle and you the spittle battle. You take oh. a turn and then you go for the burn and then you take a turn and go for the burn, ladies and gentlemen. And you then, heard it here first. And you know, you then you're all good. <clears throat> Is that all it takes, really? That's it. You take a turn, go for the burn, and then you're all good. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm eating a sandwich, Kerwood. Thank you again for the food last night. Really appreciate it, buddy. 
Kurt would order some Hungry, hungry Howie's for dinner. Ah. Uh, hence where it came from. That's where it came from. Oh, Michael. It's time for the spittle battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm really proud of the man you became today on your birthday. I hate you so much. We play, which one of these monsters do we play? Probably the palace jailer, actually. It leaves them with no threats. <clears throat> um, and it leaves us the monarch, so we can just keep drawing extra cards every single turn of our lives. But if they couldn't ramp out anything with this Lotus Cobra on board, they're probably not going to be able to do it. Next turn either. Right. Because that actually gave them two extra mana. So they had one, two, three, four from this coming into play, five from the extra land, six. So now they'll just have four. Oh, mama, can you hear? You know that song? I do. I don't know. I don't know the words to that song, but I know the, the general theme of it. Hangman is coming down from the gallows and I don't have very long. Wow, really? Who sings that song? My dad. <laughs> How do you know that whole line, which is a really intricate line, but you don't know who sings it? Hangman is coming down from the gallows? That's dark. The jig is up. It finally lit. Oh, it sticks. Wow. I thought it might have been. Finally found it. Da -da 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 -da. The renegade who had Oh, Nifty made... Chris knows. Nifty Chris knows. Unless he just looked it up. Did you just look it up, Chris? <clears throat> well, yeah, I love me some sticks. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I'm... Sailing away, set an open course for the virgency. The virgency? Yeah. Huh. That's not it. Oh God. Sail away. Yeah, I think it's sail away. But oh God, it just keeps coming up. Stuff sticks. Virgency. Mm hmm Oh, all right. What did they what did they hit? Wait, they just killed our palace jailer with this? They know that doesn't get their guy back, right? <laughs> I don't think they Why know. Why doesn't that. it get their guy back? Because it's not how palace jailer works. They we take the creature until they become the monarch. Ah, uh, okay. Palace jailer don't care. Palace jailer don't care about no one. He's really selfish. Don't be like Palace Jailer. I don't know, I'll just go Swamp. I feel like it's always Swamps. Swamps all the way down. And they're like, how come I didn't get my Lotus Cobra back? And I'm like, nah, bro. You just literally spent an Assassin's Trophy on a Deuce Deuce. <laughs> what a sucker. And we're going to rip his whole hand out? Going to rip it right out from under him, buddy. So, do this for three. One, two, and three, and four. All the Frankel farts going out the door. Michael Night Pulse Avenger. Oh, oh boy. We're having a good time. I want to tap my Library of Alexandria after ripping your whole hand apart to add. I got to discard this, don't I? Okay. You totally pitch a land there. I could have. I just. I like this. I was so excited about the synergy of this going to the graveyard. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna play Lyra here because next time I can play both of these. Play you. I'll just play Hero because it's a way quicker clock. Have you ever played a Lyra Dawnbringer before, bro? It's all right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not even going to draw a card here because we're just going to have to discard. Actually, it's fine, right? It's always fine. You just always draw. Just never. Never don't be drawn. But if you draw something you want to play, you know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 
I really appreciate them sticking this out though. Oh, maybe that's even better. That might be better actually. Yeah, let's get rid of a swamp here. <coughs> you know what? I'm not even gonna keep up. I'm not even keep up surveil. I don't even care. Man, you're crazy. I'm a maniac. Let's go redsies. And then we'll go one, two, three, four. Aurelia. Into Hero of Blade. Blade. Attack for eight. Well, they're definitely dead next turn. They are they are looking down some fierce ladies and a demon. <clears throat> Set an open course, Michael. Where? For the Virgin Sea. Okay. I think we I think we did it. I think we went two one with our fair deck. How would you rank Palace Jailer compared to Exalted Angel, Giselle, the Broken Blade, Hero of Blade, Hold, Leon, and Warleader, and Resto? Uh, I think it's above Leon and Warleader for sure. I think it's above Resto. Like, Hero of Blade Hold's above Leon and Warleader. So, yeah, it's just, it's Rest. The only card's better than it are Resto. Giselle is not great unless you also have Bruna, which is kind of cool. But even then, like, you have to get both and you have to flip it. The odds, the scenarios where you actually get Gisela and Bruna and you flip them both is pretty low. I would definitely say it's definitely better than Exalted Angel, like by a solid margin. Being able to get the uh, Monarch is really cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Unease Joker, thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it as well, buddy. And uh, if you guys want to do your own steps or submit them to me, we have until the 19th, January 19th for the cube. So definitely check out my Twitch profile or the YouTube description to figure out how. And uh, you can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. Link is in the description below. And you get 10% off the promo code Frank. His stuff's really sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time.